Okay, what we're going to do here is show in live video the effects of a hot area on the breast um, bilaterally or locally or whatever happens. We're not quite sure yet, so we want to see what happens. Uh, we're going to do it um, online video so we can see what happens here by placing for like 30 seconds a hot uh, compress on, let's say, the right breast. Okay, so I'm going to go get that. I'm putting this on pause. All right, so I have the hot compress. I am going to come around here and apply it to here. And we're going to hold it there for, let's see, see what it looks like. This is not a formal study in any way. You can see the, this is a hot paper towel there. I think we will go ahead and dry it off also. Um, all right, I'll hold on a little bit longer. That looks good though. It's accomplishing what we want. paper towel so we can dry it and we have a hot spot the other side did get colder in relation to it as you can see turn uh, one way okay turn the other way mm -hmm. okay back to the center and I think people got in trouble with this by the way I think it was some doctors in New Jersey that did this for a car accident case to show that there was a hot area after an injury. So as you can see, it's pretty feasible. That looks pretty believable to me if I was looking at that. I just want to see, um, yeah, actually let's do something else. Uh, well, we can't do it that way now because I just, uh, maybe we'll repeat this again and take the global Delta T's. But you can see the blue here. Um, I would look at that and say, yeah, there's a hypothermic breast in the uh, lower aspect of the right side. I would definitely say that if I was doing this interpretation. But as you can see, I would also obviously say there's a hyperthermic spot in the upper right breast, approximately 11 and 12 o'clock, which would be more significant. You can see it's dissipating now, but you get the idea that it does turn it hypothermic on the opposite side. And that's what we were looking to accomplish today.